everybody and thank you so much for stopping by Our Gray House. My name is Lisa and in today's video we're going to be organizing that craft desk. So this is my office slash crafting room slash filming room and I've just, I, I've gotten things on clearance and stuff and I've just laid it on the desk, haven't put it where it goes and I need to clean it all off so that I can do some more crafts. I have tons of projects, some in midstream, some just, they're not even projects, they go somewhere else. And they just landed on my craft desk. If you're wondering how it gets to this situation, it's actually pretty easy. I will, for example, have an empty spaghetti jar, rinsed it out, washed it out, brought it in here, set it down there. This is not where it goes. It goes in the closet, it doesn't even go here but I leave it there. This is for my realty business. And this actually, with, the funny thing is, it literally goes right over there, but yet I laid it down here. Why? It's, it goes right there. But anyway, this is where it is. This is what I need to clean up. To start cleaning and getting organized, I'm gonna start from this side of the desk and go this way. I'm just gonna pick things up as I come to them and I'm gonna put them in areas so that I can put them away in just a moment and I'm just gonna roll the footage. Ta-da, it's done. And it actually didn't take me that long at all. It was mostly about organizing and putting like the glass pieces where, where the glass goes, the wood pieces where the wood goes and that kind of thing. So I finished that. Now I've got a clear workspace where I can create and do some more DIY videos for you guys. And the next project I have coming up, I'm gonna actually complete this little project right here. It's gonna be a 4th of July hence the red, white, and blue paint. It's gonna be a 4th of July project, but I didn't, my desk was messy, and I didn't get it done. So my idea was to basically just paint these stars. I got the stars at Hobby Lobby. Ooh, it's storming outside. And attach them to just some clothespins. And I was just gonna leave the clothespins um, the way they were, and I was gonna paint some red, some white, some blue, and attach them like this and then use those as photo holders. I thought that was a fun, easy idea. I like to have photos of my family out and right now I think I have the watermelon, pineapple and orange slices out. So time to update. <laughs> of course now 4th of July is over. But anyway, whatever, it doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna go ahead and create those today. Although it's almost the end of July, I still feel like you can decorate with red, white, and blue stuff because we do have Labor Day coming up and a lot of people use red, white, and blue for that as well. But anyway, I got these stars from Hobby Lobby. They were not on sale when I purchased them, so I used my 40% off coupon. The paint was on sale. I got red, white, and blue. And I got these, I think I got these from the Dollar Tree. This is of course just a sponge little paint thing. You can get these at Dollar Tree and my glue gun, and I think that's all we need. I, when I paint, I use wax paper to kind of dry things on, but yeah, that's it. Now 
To finish this project up, I'm just gonna hot glue these little stars to the clothespin. So originally this project I thought was going to be like a 4th of July themed project, but in actuality you can use it for Flag Day in June, you can use it for 4th of July, you can use it for Labor Day. So it's kind of an Americana theme more than just a specific 4th of July thing. I love how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching. So if you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And don't forget if you want to follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.